Good morning. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this very exciting reaction. Very, very exciting. Okay, nothing is more exciting than what's happening right now. Not even the hurricane. No, I'm kidding. If you live in Florida or anywhere in the hurricane's path, I am praying that you guys are safe. I've been keeping an eye on it because I have I know a few people in um, the area and it's been it's actually so insane. You guys, I hope that no one is in danger. What an insane hurricane. Honestly, I hope you guys are all safe. Um, but in this reaction, we are checking out exciting things, falling up and night, uh, OSTs for Tower of Good 2. So first of all, super cool that they're doing the OST for this. Uh, and then we're going to do Chenny's One Kid's Room and his vlog. Um, if you are not on my Patreon, there are two extra reactions every single week over there. Some people say to me, I miss your reactions. And I'm like, girl, I do three a week for Stray Kids. If you're not on my Patreon, you're missing two of them. So if you want to go over there, I did Knowing Brothers this week or Knowing Bros this week, which is so funny. So funny. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I do for them is actually over there. The link for my reaction archive, which shows you everything that I've done, is in the description of this video. Um, on Patreon, there is, I'm nearly at 300 extra reactions for Stray Kids. So there is a lot. There is a lot. So go and check that out. Um, but let's get straight into it, everybody. We are doing Falling Up Tower of God OST. Love the beginning already. Love that guitar. I'm walking my way, I'm walking my way. I'm taking a step closer every day. I'm climbing my way. I can feel the pain. Don't know where the end is, so why can't I stop this? I'm not gonna stay, but I can't. I know we're not into the chorus yet, but because I knew it was an OST for a... Is it called a man manga? Man man manhwa? I don't know. It's like an anime. I don't remember the name for it. But I was expecting like a real anime vibe, which is not this for me. However, it's not into the uh, chorus yet. But this is super good. Like, I love this whole vibe. The guitar. Like, it definitely gives that OST vibe of, like, I don't know, like a slow motion battle or just, like, like a big change in the scene. It could be emotional. It could be anything. I don't care. It definitely gives the vibe, but it's just not as, like, anime coded as I thought it would be. And I love it. And I thought it, this is a Korean anime or ma, ma, whatever it's called. Uh, Tower of God. It's a uh, manhwa. There you go. It's a South Korean manhwa. So why are they singing in Japanese? Am I wigging out? Oh, it is an anime. Is Japanese or Korean? I guess it's... It is Korean. So why are they singing in Japanese? Or are they not singing in Japanese? Am I waking out? They are okay, let's just keep listening. I wasn't... Let me just focus. Stay up! 
I just wasn't expecting it to be that good because like OSTs for animes I don't know maybe they're maybe there are lots of good ones but like majority of the ones I like what I envision is just not this you know what I mean wow they sounded incredible this was beautiful I loved this such a vibe oh my god all right so that was so I'm confused why they're singing in Japanese though I don't know anything about this, um, this anime. So, excuse my runny nose. I'm not sick. I just have a runny nose 24 seven. Um, maybe one of you can explain to me why, why they're singing in Japanese when it, Google tells me it's a Korean manhwa, but I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I re I'm researching wrong. I don't know. All right. Night. <laughs> Got a bit upbeat now. All right, let's go. Wow. Lee, no. Oh. At the moment, only 26 seconds in, but it's really giving me like an Evanescence vibe. That Felix's progressive melody just then was sick. This chorus, that reminds me of anime. This is the sound I expected, but everything so far has been like th that was new in brain. A different sound I wasn't expecting. The chorus is. I love that progressive melody. giving me um, uh, social path vibes in certain areas. It's very like Japanese vibe. Oh, I can't 
Say Rachel. I think he says. I think he echoes right here. I'm right here. Unless Rachel is someone, but it doesn't sound like he says Rachel. Oh, the guitar is going off. Oh. Wow, Kenny. That that was all over the place. That was um, so much was going on in there. So many unexpected um, melody switch ups and instrumental switch ups. I don't like this one as much as Falling Up, but it's definitely very impactful and definitely suits an OST. Ch uh, feel, uh, oh my god, Lee knows breathy vocals were just so sick. Okay, so there's a, there's a, a couple of, um, which part? Someone said they don't think that that is. Oh, they're saying that's Han. Oh, oh really? Mm. To be honest, I, I get why they got that confused because even when I listen to it, I'm like, it kind of does sound like Lino, but then it does sound like Han as well. Chungbin? Oh, it's Chungbin. Oh, I think it's Lino saying, I can never stop. So pretty, Changbin. Okay, so there's a lot of differences here. So wait, it's but is it Lino at some bit? Wait, how come I'm like hearing Lino and <laughs> and the second half of Lino lines at? To 25 cent, I'm like Chungbin and not Sun Min Lee, no. Uh, uh, I mean, now people are fighting over whether it's Han or Lee, no. I don't know. Like I can hear Lino in it and I can hear Han in it. So I'm not sure. But, and then this part. That's, that's Trumpet. But the I can never stop is Lino. I feel like. Anyways, regardless, regardless, regardless. Um, Some of their tones sound similar to me, so it's hard. But I feel like, yeah, okay, this person with Lino, I can never stop. Yeah. Anyways, gorgeous, gorgeous vocals by these guys. Um, very, very cool OSTs. Falling Up is my favorite by far. I love this. This is so good. Oh my gosh. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right. This is my most anticipated. I don't know if I said last week. Well, who did I do last week? It was Hyunjin. I don't know. I feel like I said about someone that maybe it was Sungmin. I was like, he's the one I want to hear the most about. Did I say that about Sungmin? I take it back. 
Chenny is the one I want to hear most about. <laughs> I'm so curious. What do they think of him? You know what I mean? Like I want. I, I'm just dying for this episode. All right, let's get let's get it, Chenny. Yeah, you guys, I feel like lately. So I don't know when I say lately. Um, just yesterday, I watched. You know, on Netflix, there's a show called Unsolved Mysteries. And I started watching it last night and I started oh, and I started watching it last night. I did episode one and then episode two is about this guy who like studies or like tries to investigate paranormal activity and stuff like that. And he has like this ghost that he speaks to, this like spirit. Anyway, I fully believe in all of that stuff because the house that I grew up in was on 40 acres of land and we lived on the top of this hill. Um, and it was really old. It was, I don't actually know how old it was, but I don't know what era, what era was, um, velvet really in style because we had velvet wallpaper that was lime green and it was like patterned like this, like swirls. And so like the swirls was all like lime green velvet. And then it had like in between was like actual wallpaper and our carpet in our main living room was shaggy lime green like shaggy like actual like fur that came off like like that like that long <laughs> so was that like the 60s 60s was that when was the hippies 70s uh, whatever whatever era it was um it was pretty old house maybe even older than that i don't even know anyways um and so many unexplainable things happened in this house. Like, I'll give you an example. We'd all just be sitting in the lounge room. And like, you know, when you wash dishes and you put them in your dish tray and like the tray is like that high and everything sits in there. Plates would start falling out of the dish tray. The only way they can fall out of the dish tray is if they're lifted up and dropped. So like we'd be sitting there and it would just go chung, and one plate would just fall and you're like what and it's like sitting up like if you don't know what I'm talking about um dish tray yeah this <clears throat> um a dish tray like let me get the exact one that we had this like that see that you can't slide out of that this is the exact dish tray we had a plate would fall out and you're like what the fuck and we so you'd come and clean up like how that happened and then another one would fall out and you're like what and then one time um we were sitting in our lounge room and like where our lounge room was was like here and then you had a so the tv was here we would sit here and then you walk through this part which is like the where the dining table was and then the kitchen was there so you couldn't see the full kitchen and there was a cupboards on this side here. So when you looked, you could see a cupboard to the left and then the kitchen went that way. You couldn't see the kitchen. Um, we saw, we, we were all watching TV and we heard the cupboard door slam and we all turned around and every single one of us, me, my mum, my dad, my brother, saw the flick of hair move, like as in someone like had run that way. And so, and you just saw their hair pull back with like the wind. And we were like, what the hell? Who's that? And so we all got up and we all ran and there was nobody there. And we're like, um, who, who was that? It was no one. There was, I don't know what we still to this day have no answer as to what it, what it was. Last example, two, I get two more examples. I feel like I've shared these before, but whatever. If you guys like ghost stories, you'll love this. If not, just skip forward. Um, we were, it was Christmas time. And we had a big Christmas tree up and we had a pretty weirdly shaped house. It was like a, like a H almost. Um, and in the front, we had our Christmas tree right where this huge big glass window was. We had our Christmas tree and our family had been over and they were all leaving, my cousins and aunties, and we're all standing at the front of our house. And because we lived on 40 acres, there was like no one around us. And where our... Um, driveway was was like really low down which took you to a main kind of road but the main road didn't have street lights so when you were outside of our house unless 
we had all of our lights turned on. It was pitch black at nighttime, pitch black. There's no street lights around. There's no other houses around. So we didn't have our front porch lights on. I don't know why, but they were just leaving and we ran outside. We didn't turn them on. And so they're in the car all standing there kind of like talking in the pitch black. But we had our Christmas tree where the lights would, were flicking on and off and flicking on and off. And we're all standing there talking and I was next to my auntie and we look up at the Christmas tree and there's just this like figure standing next to the Christmas tree, just like dark figure. And both my auntie and I went, <gasps> and then the lights from the Christmas tree turned off and then they turned back on and no one was there. And we were like, I was like, did you just say that? She's like, yes. Still no, no answer as to what this like figure was. Um, and lastly, and I don't know how this works because I don't know if like seeing like body parts and stuff is like even a part of like paranormal activity. But anyway, um, my brother, we, so we had a granny flat that was attached to the house and my brother was sleeping in there one night and he like sprinted inside and he's like, Mel, leave me alone. I want to sleep. And I was in the, um, in the TV room with my parents and I'm like what do you mean he's like seriously like uh, like just leave me alone and we we're like what are you talking about and my dad was like she hasn't moved here for the last two hours and he just went white and he's like someone literally grabbed my leg and as I opened the door the actual granny flat door was closing because he woke up from like his leg being touched and then he saw the door closing and so my parents were like what the hell and because we lived on acreage we're like well someone's obviously on the property and so just search for ages and ages and ages and there was no one around so I mean who knows that it could have been someone trying to break in I don't know but it was the freakiest house I've ever lived in anyway that was a really long roundabout way to explain to you that last night I was watching paranormal activity uh, watching unsolved mysteries and it was about paranormal activity and when I was going to bed last night I turned all the lights off and then I heard what I thought was like someone trying to open our door and so I turned the light back on and I was like because I live in an apartment block so you know people can get confused and start to accidentally open the wrong door and I was like oh that's no one and so I turned it back off and then I heard rustling in like I have like a big like bag thing where I'm about to like give away um, all of my old clothes it's like one of those like granny bags it's like makes a lot of noise it's like crunchy sound and I heard like this crunch the crunchy sound from the bag and I turned the lights back on again and I was like is that like a rat or something and so I like walked over I look and there's nothing and I was like what is this sound anyway I was like whatever turned it turned the light off and then went into bed and then this like alarm sound went off almost like kind of like when you set a timer for your oven like it wasn't like a phone alarm it was kind of quiet and I was like what the fuck are these sounds and I have no idea what was going on inside the house but now I'm freaked out I'm really freaked out and I don't know if my main my brain was just making up tricks but yeah um I feel like the reason I got onto that topic is because I just heard something out here and then I got scared and then I told you the story. So anyway, if you enjoyed my ghost stories, um, that's great. If you didn't, hopefully you just um, fast forwarded me speaking for 15 minutes about ghosts. That's <laughs> 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 <웃음> 나는 형, 너네보다 형이야 이런 게 있었는데 지금 맞아, 그냥 맞아, 맞아, 맞아. 우린 이제 친구야 이런 느낌이지 이제 <웃음> 많이 <웃음> 되게 편하게 해주고 어. 리더라고 뭐꼭뭐 뭐 애들을 뭐뭐 뭐 시켜야 되거나 뭐어 우리 이렇게 해, 합시다 뭐 굳이 이럴 필요는 없잖아요 저는 like 듣는 that. 리더가 되고 싶지 뭘 주도하는 리더는 되고 싶지는 않은 것 같아요 최대한 멤버들이 믿을 수 있는 기둥이 될수 있는 그런 존재가 되고 싶고 애들이 생각하는 거, 애들이 하고 싶은 거 이런 거다 리스펙하고 존중하는 게 그런 배려들이 맞다고 생각해서 음. 할 말을 해야 될 때가 아닌 이상 최대한 뭐 그냥 터치 안 하려고 하는 것 같아요. 우리한테 친구처럼 되게 편하게 해주는데 뭔가 일적인 거나 저희를 챙겨야 되는 부분이 있으면 이제 
딱 리더가 되는 거죠. 리더로서 딱 내가 뒤에서 지킨다 이거. 어 그래서 나 진짜 웃겼던 게 이제 비행기 내리잖아. 근데 이제 찬이 형이랑 나랑 옆에 있었어. 이제 이렇게 가방 싸고 이게 내리잖아. 응. 난 당연히 찬이 형 먼저 가게 해줬지. 안 가는 거야. <웃음> 이렇게 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 가고 있었지. 어. 형 가야 되잖아. 어? 어? 아, 아 내가 먼저 가야 되는 거야. 이거 뭐야? 음. 그래서 좀 나를 포지션이 항상 뒤에 있죠. 강박이자 습관. 근데 찬이 형 그거 절대 해서. 모를 걸. 아 본인은 몰라. 어, 몰라. 어. 아, 그냥 박혀 있는 거야 머리에. 근데 그런 게 어떻게 보면은 이제 멤버들을 뒤에서 챙기고 그를 밀어나 양보. 그러니까 우리가 막 눈에 안 보이면 막 어? 걱정돼가지고. 그렇지. 그런 게 아니야. 앞에 있으면 뒤가 안 보이잖아. 그걸 얼마나 걱정돼. 뒤에 막 어? 막한 명만 걸어간다고 생각해 막. 찬이 형 성격에 막. 어? 이럴 것 같아. 저는 <웃음> 강박이 아니고 습관. 모르겠어요. 그 괜히 제가 뒤에 있어야 뭔가 편하던데 그냥. 어쨌든 제 시야 안에 애들이 다 음. 보이고. 앞에서 가면은 뒤에서 무슨 일이 있는지 모르잖아요. 근데 뒤에 있어야 앞에 있는 분인지 알수 있으니까. 음. 이게 막 대놓고 티나게 세지는 않은데 확인은 무조건 하긴 하죠. 사람 많은 면이 또안 보이기도 해서 yeah. 혹시나 해서 이렇게 세게 되는 것 같아요. 그래서 제가 어떻게든 마지막에 가려 하는 것 같아요. 왜냐면 이미 아 애들 다 갔구나 라는 내가 마지막이니까 다 있겠지. 이거 때문에 항상 뒤에 있으려 하는 것 같아요. Mm. Like Chan Young, Chan Young, because, because, because he's so in the habit of doing that, the other guys probably wouldn't even think of that. So I think Chan also probably knows that because he's always the one that does that. He has to continue to be the one that does that because if he's not doing it, they all think he's doing it. And then if someone gets lost, oh my god. Wow! 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 Hey Chris, I just want to learn English. Yeah, but Korean is how you call it? Oh, really? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm going to go. No one can call me Hey Chris. I never call him Hey Chris. I'm a Korean person. But I have a lot of memories. Ah, but Ian is really good. Really? Really good. I'm starting to get a little bit more. I'm 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 a little bit more. 어좀더 약간 레이백이라고 해야 되나? 찬영도 그때 생각해보면 나이가 지금 우리 나이 아니야? 그 아니 스무 살이었어. 찬이 애기였네. 오 베이비 찬. 아 찬이. 야그 나이 때는 다 그렇게 멋져 보이고 싶어 그런 거야. 애기. 조금의 바람이 있다면 뭐아 그치 형은 옛날에 비해 많이 변했지 많이 내려놨지 이 애기는 나올 것 같기는 한데 안 나오면 제가 더 열심히 해야 된다는 거고 지금은 안 무서워할 걸요? 아마도. 빨리 나왔으면 좋겠다. <웃음> 너무 궁금해. 어떻게 <웃음> 뭔 얘기할지 몰라서. 이제는 옛날만큼 어렵지 않다. 이제는 뭐 대처하는 방법도 알고 네. 이제 예민했을 때 대처법은 그냥 내두는 거. 네. 냅두고. 네. 냅두면 돼요. 냅두고 네. 방생 시켜놓으면 네. 알아서 풀려서 와요. 야, 어이구. 하고. 그냥 흥분이 가라앉으면 알아서 무한해 해요. 아, 내가 왜 그랬지? 어, 알아서 이제 약간 무한해. 어, 근데 아, 네. 그런 예민함이 팀. 쪽으로 봤을 때 좋은 점도 있었고 그래, 그 형은 모든 게 예민하잖아. 그래. 귀도 예민하니까 이제 음정 하나 하나 다 체크할 수. 아 그건 있고. 좋아. 너무 춘을 좋아. 너무 잘하지. 어. 춘도 너무 잘하고 믹스도 너무, 너무 잘하고. 잘하고. 어. 음정 박자는 진짜 칼같이 맞춰야 되고. 진짜 칼같이. 칼같이. 맞아. 녹음할 때. 뭐 찌찌. 그냥 찬이 형은 디테일적으로 많이 약간 신경 쓰이는 것 같아. 뭔가 완벽을 바랄 때가 있어. 가끔. 찝고 넘어갈 수 없는 부분들을 형이 잘 찝어주지. 그래 그런 장점이 있지. 솔직히 말해서. 고치고 싶었던 부분들은 고쳐지지 않았고요. 음. <웃음> 그래서 노력하고 있기는 한데 마음대로 잘안 되는 것 같아요. 그런 부분들은 멤버들이 확실히 어떻게 이 사람을 이해해야 하는지 그거는 다 캐치를 한것 같아요. 캐치하고 뭔가 이 형을 어떻게든 이해해보자 하는 게 노력하는 게 보여서 더 미안해요. 어. <웃음> 아. 또 너무 예, 너무 예민했구나. 아이 이러면서 이제 음. 후회하죠. 좀 유치할 수도 있고 좀 오글거릴 수도 있지만. Why they putting sad music on? It makes him wanna cry. 제인이 멤버들 기반으로 돼 있어요. 그래서 저한테 제일 소중한 거, 제일 사랑을 받고 싶어 하는 게 멤버들이다 보니 굳이 더 마찰을 만들고 싶지 않은 것 같아요. 
같이 살면 포기를 한게 되게 많아요. Oh my god, that's so sweet. 이거 썼으면 <웃음> 갖다 놔? 아니면 이거 쓰레기는 이쪽에다 모아놔? 이러면 안 하거든요. 뭐라고 하면 이제 애들이 불편할까 봐 그런 거에 대해서 되게 눈치 보긴 해요. 뭔가 어. 그러니까 그형 입장에서는 불편하고 그런 상황들이 정말 음. 많을 거예요. 왜냐면 진짜 완벽주의자고 되게 깐깐하고 되게 그런 거에서 되게 민감한 사람인데 꾹꾹 참다가 얘기하게 음. 되죠. 어, 내가 이런 얘기하면 괜히 불편할까 봐. 어. 그런 약간 그런 스타일인 것 같아요. <웃음> <laughs> what would Bangchan give up first? Hobbies, learning, rest. He would probably give up rest and then hobbies and then learning. Because it depends what learning. If it's learning about something that's going to uh, help the team, I think he would always put the team first. Then, or maybe he'd give up hobbies first because. Uh, I feel like he doesn't really rest anyway. That's why I'm like, maybe he'll give up rest, hobbies, then learning, if learning has to do with something about the team. Otherwise, I think it would be hobbies, rest, learning. Or... Oh, I don't actually know. That's hard. What's the game? What's the game? What's the game? Sanyong game? Any game? PT? 휴대폰 게임 하기. 차, 찬영이 핸드폰 게임. 게임을 진짜 많이 해. 게임을 음. 소개를 해줬는데 그렇게 행복한 모습은 오랜만에 본 거야. Okay, what I was gonna say is, if there's nothing he really cares about learning about, maybe it will go. He'll give up rest, learning, and then hobbies. 그래, 너랑. 근데 아니, 잘하는 게 없어. 아, 약간 레이플 스토리 같은 거. 약간 RPG. 어. 맞아, 그래도 게임 잘하는 편이 아니라서. 근데 그걸로 인해서 그 찬영의 화가 좀잘 다스려지는 편인 것 같아. <웃음> 그러면 1, 2, 3, 1을 어떻게 정하지? 네, 학습이 우리... 제일 포기할 수 있는 거 이미 학습 완료 맞아. 학습, 휴식, 취미, 취미. 학습, 휴식, 음... 아니 학습이 아닌데 학... 학습, 휴식, 학습, 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 휴식, 학습, 휴식, 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 학습, 휴식, 학습, 휴식, 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 그 향기를 계속 넘고 싶어 하다 보니 계속 학습하고 싶은 것 같고 취미는 뭐 어쨌든 제가 운동하거나 어, oh, did he s 하거나 뭐 음악이거나 막 이런 거? 이런 거는 계속하면 좋지 <웃음> 잘하진 않아요 그거 진짜 <웃음> 잠깐 빠져가지고 시작하다가 없어졌지 없어졌어요 그거 우리 제가 약간 되게 그 미래적인 걸 되게 좋아하는 것 같아요 약간 현대 미래 그런 걸 되게 좋아하나 봐요 이제 이엔이랑 이제 같이 살게 되는데 거실 어떻게 약간 이쁘게 꾸밀지 되게 고민하고 있을 것 같아요. 일단 제일 좋은 막 조명 한 번에 다 줄, 색깔 막 이런 거다 변화할 수 있는 약간 그런 것도 다 찾고 있고 That's fun. 스티커도 있고 공기청정기랑 그것도 기계잖아요. 가습기, 로봇 청소기 한번 <웃음> 맞다 로봇 청소기 왜 생각 안 해봤지? 그것도 사야 되겠다. 야그 인간이 집안에서 드론 날려가지고 기억나냐? 아, 아 우리 맞아, 맞아, 다 같이 살 때? 기계 진짜 잘 다루고 오, 맞아요. 맞아. 그거 어떻게 다 다루는지 모르겠네 이상해 그 기계 컴퓨터랑 막 이런 거잘 다루고 근데 그형 진짜 방가이고요 맞아, 못 고치는 그래. 기계가 없어 맞아 그형 진짜 잘 고쳐 그런 거 고장 난걸 떨어서 그냥 다 요청해요 <웃음> 형 근데 진짜 할줄 우리 창비 형은 진짜 할줄 아는 게 하나도 없어 가지고 <웃음> 두분밖에 없어요 저거 <웃음> 다 요청합니다 찬영한테 네, 네, 아, 큐베이스 같은 거에 약간 안 되면 은 네. 형한테 연락해서 형 이거 왜안 돼요 이러면 은 페이스타임 딱한 다음에 그거 형이 다 알려주는 대로 하면 또 되고 그리고 우리 연습실에 있는 스피커 같은 것들 이제 맥북이랑 이 TV랑 연결하는 선도 기가 막히게 잘 이렇게 싹싹싹 해요 능력자 근데 기계는 근데 그건 있어요 어쨌든 다 써져 있고 <웃음> 매뉴얼이 있고 그것만 잘 따르면은 쉽지 않나 그리고 요새 세상에는 유튜브가 있기 때문에 모든 걸다 찾아볼 수 있어요 그러니까 그러니까 저, 저한테는 멤버들은 VIP 게스트 분들이에요 VIP 사람들이에요 <웃음> 아, 그럴 수도 있지. 내가 <웃음> 도와줄게. 이거는 이렇게 하는 거야. <웃음> 특별 대우를 어떻게든 우리 도래님들께 해드리려 하죠. 똑똑해요, 진짜. 아, 근데 진짜 해요. 똑똑하게. 네. 네. 이번에 그 합주했을 때. 아, 와, 우리 그거 진짜 그 안무에 맞는 소스 빠진 것 하나하나 다 체크하고 음. 악기고 뭐 하나 틀어지면 그거 듣고 바로 얘기하 맞아, 그거 어떻게 다 캐치하냐, 근데. 네. 공부도 진짜 많이 하고 진짜. 빈틈이 하나도 없어요. 맞아, 맞아. 맞아. 에? 아니. 
아, 아 그리고 그냥 칭찬을 야. 아예 못 들어. 야. 칭찬 듣는 걸 되게 못 해요. 못, 어. 그, 그 약간 그래서... 잘해주면 싫어해요. <웃음> 근데 또 못해주면 또 그것도 싫어해요. 그래서 <웃음> 이제 나는 칭찬 안 해주고 형님 고생했습니다. 약간 이런 식으로 그, 해주지. 요 정도가 제일 좋아. 그치? 자기가 고생한 걸 알아준 거야. 음. 어. 그 정도면 되는 거야. 오. 그리고 찬이 형. 얘다 끝나야 돼. 그래, 졸업하자. 감사합니다. 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 어, 저는 제 자신을 생각하는 걸잘 못해요. 그게 제 음. 약점인가 모르겠어요. 제 자신을 인정 I was 못 just 하... about to say I think a lot of the time I'm no psychologist in this realm. However, I feel as though when people aren't able to take compliments, it's because they're not confident in what the person has complimented them on so he's saying like i can't recognize my own achievements so when he's doing something in there like wow you did so good or whatever if he doesn't fully believe it himself then he doesn't want to take that compliment or he might feel that that compliment is fake it's like when someone compliments a person on their looks just say and the person like can't take it it's because they don't feel confident in themselves a lot of the time so that's kind of sad Hago. 제일 인정받고 싶어 하는 사람들은 멤버들인 것 같아요. 멤버들이 저를 인정한다면 저는 그냥 oh, really just loves the members so much. 약간 표현 같은 거 있어서 조금 무식한 거지 않나? 은은하게 티내는 스타일 같은 거. 그 이런 향을 풍풍인다 날까요? 그러네요, <웃음> <웃음> 향. 음, 뭐 그런 갑자기 바이브, 왜 애니 화가 되는 거야? 그런 바이브를 풍겨낸다고 해야 되나요? 아플 때안 아픈 척 진짜. 아, 맞네. 아플 때안 아픈 척 하는 거 많다. 그 아시죠? 요새 서바이벌 방송 때 어. 넘어졌어요. 전사에 우회할 때. 스케이트보드 타다가 얼굴이, 얼굴이 아스팔트에 갈렸던 적이 있습니다. <웃음> 뭐 연습 실 왔는데 <웃음> 형왜 그래요? 아 저쪽에서 넘어졌어. 겁나 아파 보이는데 되게 괜찮은 척. <웃음> 살짝 긁혔어. 살짝 긁힌 정도가 아니거든요. <웃음> 살짝 이러고 표현하는데 막 와. <웃음> 나 아파! 나, 아, 나 아파! 어, 나 얘네 안 아파! 아파! 그냥 안 아파도! 알아봐줘. 어깨 좀 귀여워. They go so loud. Oh my god. 그냥 알아봐줘. 이거 되게 좋아해. 알아봐주면 진짜 좋아해. 진짜 좋아해. 그거만 더 행복해하는 거 없어. 목마른 형. 그냥 사랑했죠. 목마른 형. 은근 관심 받고 싶어해. 은근. 얘는 뭐 해달라고 해. 응. 그럼 그거 진짜 행복해. 맞아. 자기를 필요로 하는 거에 대한 행복감을 느껴. 그러니까 리더라는 거예요. 맞아. 진짜 천사 리더예요. 그거 그거 자체가 진짜 리더라는 거예요. 우리 다 이제 다 무뚝뚝하니까 저희는 약간 그런. 그렇게 성장해 온것 같은데요. 그런 얘기 안 해도 고마운 거 아니까. 안에 그냥 되게 장난식으로 뚝 던지긴 하죠. 약간 그냥 애들이 반응이 궁금해서 하는 거긴 한데 닉스한테 영어로 한거 섞어서도 하고 창빈이한테도 끊임없이 하고 다 해요. 아무래도 다 싫어하지 않을까요? 다 싫어해요. <웃음> 부담스러울 정도로 하긴 해요. 힘은 절대 난리 나. 이제 콘서트에서 <웃음> 예를 들어. <웃음> 그런 그런 표현도 약간 내가 봤을 때 그냥 애니잖아. 아, 자기가 맞아. 자기가 그리고 있는 자기의 맞아, 그 모습이 맞아. 있는 거야. 맞아 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 맞아. 이미 자기는 이미 다 극제이잖아. 극제. 맞아, 맞아, 맞아. 이미 자기는 여기서 이걸 할 거를 미리 계산을 한 거야. 머릿속에서 머릿속에서는 승인치야. <웃음> 저쪽에서 우리의 모습이 보이고 있는 거야. 그 얼마나 멋있고 웅장한 우리의 모습이 보이고 있는 거야. 머릿속에서. 지금 이런 얘기를 듣는 게또 그게 새롭네. 뭐, 애니메이션을 많이 봐서 그런 것 같아. 맞아. 왜냐면 나도 가끔 그런 상상 하거든. <웃음> <웃음> 내가 만약 이런 데에서 이런 걸 한다면. 나 그거, 그거 되게 낭만 있다고 생각해. 나도 되게 낭만. 낭만이야. 낭만이야. 네. 난 찬이 형은 낭만주의자야, 그 형은. 음. 아, 저형 아, 진짜 낭만이야. 낭만이야. 저형 낭만 낭만이야. 진짜 짱이야. 방찬은 리더. 대다 우. 섹시한데? 좀 섹시한데? 방찬은 <웃음> 낭만 캥거루다. 아, 진짜. 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 아, 자니는 더 열심히 해야 돼요. 자니는 지 자신도 잘 모르는 바보. 멤버들밖에 모르는 바보. Goodness gracious me. 약간 시간 계산이 좀 많이 잘 하긴 해요. 대략 어 지금의 몇시몇 분이겠다 하면은 그 맞추는 그 재미. 예를 들어 제가 뭐 7시 50분에 시트로 갔어요. 그럼 나올 때어한 8시 지금 딱 3분이겠다 하면은 뭔가 맞출 때막 그런 거 있어요. 
you know, um, it's really sad when you when you think about how he just doesn't see himself as we see him. But then I think about it and I'm like, honestly, it's the case for everyone. We, none of us see ourselves the way other people see us. And especially when you're in a realm, in, in a field like he is, when you're in the eye of the storm, you you won't appreciate what you've achieved or how much you've done until you're out of it. So when he's older, I think he'll be able to look back and really respect himself a lot more and see his achievements a lot more. But um, it's the same in like so many different circumstances where like, especially like traumatic ones, like when you're in something really intense, you know it's intense, but you don't actually realize how intense it is until you're on kind of the other side of it. And I know that sounds so traumatic, but like, it's the same thing. It doesn't matter, especially when you're a perfectionist. It doesn't matter what you do. You always want more. You always think you can do more. And he can, and he will. That's the thing. And I think that's why they feel like that. It's because Chen is so amazing at what he does and can push himself so much that he can and he will do more and he will achieve more and he will keep progressing and improving and all of the rest of it. So it's hard and it's sad to know that he probably doesn't take the time to reflect and appreciate the now. I don't think he lives in the now. I think he lives in the future um, of what's next, which has its place, you know, when, when you're trying to achieve success. But I just hope that he can take, you know, in the members' compliments. and uh, But the members might feel the same as well. That's the hardest part when you're in this world, you know. So I just hope he can take in stays, um, compliments a little bit more, you know. Um, but, you know, he's he's such an incredible person. And I know deep down he knows that. I just don't think he's willing to admit or allow that to sink in properly because there could be a fear that if he gets complacent and whatnot, then his motivation to achieve more might be diminished a little bit. Because some people say that, like, they're not willing to be like, yeah, I've achieved a lot because you can lose motivation to keep going if you just get if you just get complacent. So I don't know. Maybe that's where his head's at. Who knows? Who freaking knows? I'm not in his head. He's a very interesting being. All right. Let's watch his vlog. <clears throat> Cute. Oh, I love that look. Can't believe I'm going to see them in two weeks. Oh. you'll drop the camera on your head to be honest mm. I love that he hasn't said one word yet Love that jacket. The outfit today is how much? How much did you show? Ah, only sorry, I'm not vlogging. I'm not vlogging. Ah, okay. Okay. It's like this. I'm going for a silent vibe. Oh, I just love that. Wow. Everything about it is so nice.
Wow, 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 wow. Love his hair. Yep. Where's the tag on the outside of it though? Is that fashion? He really is doing a silent pull up. <laughs> Gorgeous. I love this fit. In that background. Cute. What's up there? Possum. What are they trying to get? Jack. <laughs> Come Jack. here. Jack. Cute. <laughs> Thank you. Cute. Wow, the veins. <laughs> the veins just keeping it. On in the cupboard. Closet. Yep. Watching. I remember that. Hey, but I don't remember what it was from. Ah, yes, this. That's right. The hey, I remember that. Ah, <laughs> I didn't catch on, it was his coach. I love that he watches it all. Eh? Eh? More pasta. Oh. Yum. Whoa, that was a nice dong. That is so much food. Wow. I'm much get so. I love pizza. How good's pizza? Wait, he thought that was Nutella? Mm. Mm. Oh, maybe the, a different one. Yeah. Margarita. Margarita. 
Sorry, I just needed a quick hand moisture riser situation going. Not pok pok at what? Oh, it smells so good. I'm a Fish is mine. I'm is that just for two people? That's crazy. That's so much food. <coughs> Love that yellow shirt. I was never like a yellow type of a gal, but um, I really love to watch, like every year I watch like 2024 summer trends, 2024 winter trends, like autumn, spring. Like I like to watch like these vloggers that kind of like give you an idea of what's coming into like style and color colors and everything. And apparently, I don't know if it's already been in because I'm not in summer yet. So I don't know if it's already been in style for like, the Northern Hemisphere summer, but coming in for our summer, pastel yellow, blue, like vibrant, oh, not vibrant blues. I don't know if it was pastel blues or like an in-between, not fully vibrant blue, but like a dull blue and bright reds are like coming in. And so when I first saw that like a month ago, I was like, I'm not really a yellow person. And it's crazy how your mind changes. Like I've started to slowly see the ba that baby pastel yellow be introduced into like stores. And I'm like, wait, maybe I do like it. Maybe I... I mean, I do have a yellow striped dress and I do love that, but I don't have anything that's just yellow. And it's the point of my story is that it's crazy how our brains start to change. Like I never used to like baggy jeans and now I can't stand skinny jeans and I love baggy jeans. Like I used to hate, you know, certain colors and now I love them. Like it's just, why does that happen? Maybe it's just like when you like constantly see something, your brain gets more accustomed to it maybe. <laughs> wow, your skin looks great. I know it's probably a filter, but still. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's also what's really coming in is like the Japanese and Koreans have done it all the time. Having all like the little like dangly things coming off bags, like different characters, all of that. But now the Western world is catching on. I don't know what they're called. There's like a name for it, but <laughs> like even like off your, like, your phones and stuff. Is it Fendi? Hi. Is Fendi? Who owns Fendi? I thought it was a Rihanna, wasn't it? Was it Nicki Minaj? Wait, what? What's what brand does Rihanna own? What's Rihanna? Fenty. Oh. It's very similar. I didn't realize it was so similar. So this is Nicki Minaj. Thank you so much, and this. Uh, I am here today at the Fendi Men's Fashion Show. I'm very, very excited, and I hope. I would hate so many people watching me do this. Nobody must. Um, I am here at the Fendi Men's Fashion Show. Love those two chains together. That looks so good. Fake 
You look so cute. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> Here's the CEO. Sorry, you from media? He's our manager. Oh, sorry, sorry. All good, all good, all good, all good. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, no worries. Aww. So fun that vlog. Wait, does who owns Fendi? Fendi. Italian luxury fashion house. Fendi was founded by Adele. Wait, what? Oh, uh, who? I don't know. Who's a who is this? Is this? What's the singer Adele's last name? Okay, definitely not the singer Adele. So why did Nicki Minaj come up? What brand does Nicki Minaj have? Wait, why did Nicki Minaj come up before? What what was that about? Was I was I reading something wrong? Fendi rap with Nicki Minaj. Right. Maybe they did some kind of a collab. Anyways, so relevant. Um, wasn't that so fun? I loved every second of this video. I was really having a great time. I love anything that Chan does. So I hope you guys really enjoyed watching that with me. And as I said at the beginning, if you want to come and watch two extra reactions a week, I have a Patreon where you'll get two extra Stray Kids reactions a week. I hope you guys um, have a lovely rest of the week. And as I said at the beginning, if you are in the Florida area, please be safe. I hope you guys are all okay. Sending you so much love, thoughts and press. Have a lovely week, guys. Bye.